For decades, we were taught that the brain is simply an organ of thought, a biological machine that interprets signals from the body. But new science suggests something far more profound. The brain is not only a receiver of information from the senses, it may also be a transmitter and antenna of consciousness itself. It processes more than light and sound. It interacts with a subtle field that connects all forms of life. Your brain might be participating in a universal network that extends far beyond the skull. Neuroscience has discovered that the brain emits measurable electromagnetic waves that fluctuate with thought and emotion. Alpha, beta, theta, and gamma frequencies are not random. They are patterns that correspond with states of awareness. When these waves are coherent, the brain functions like a perfectly tuned receiver, capable of picking up information beyond sensory input. This tuning process may be what allows intuition, creativity, and insight to emerge seemingly from nowhere. Consider that every antenna requires resonance to operate. When a frequency matches the vibration of the signal it seeks, communication happens effortlessly. Your thoughts and emotions determine the signal your brain is tuned to. Fear tunes you into static, clarity tunes you into coherence, and love aligns you with a higher field of intelligence. This is not metaphorical, it is measurable. Heart math researchers have shown that the heart's electromagnetic field interacts directly with the brain's, influencing attention and perception. When the heart and brain synchronize, your entire system begins to resonate as one, allowing clearer access to intuitive data. You are literally aligning your internal antenna with the frequency of awareness itself. So the brain is not the origin of consciousness. It is the translator, the receiver, and sometimes the amplifier. The real signal does not come from inside you. It comes through you. And learning to tune that signal may be the next evolution of human intelligence. Every thought you have vibrates at a specific frequency, and the brain translates those vibrations into measurable patterns called brain waves. Each frequency carries a different form of awareness, like channels on a radio. When you tune into one, your perception of reality shifts because your nervous system begins to resonate with that frequency. It is not imagination, it is physics expressed through biology. In the alpha range, between 8 and 12 hertz, your mind becomes calm, creative, and open. This is the state between wakefulness and meditation, where intuition often rises. Theta waves, between 4 and 8 hertz, move you deeper, connecting you to memory, dream, and imagination. And when you enter gamma, above 30 hertz, your brain operates with full synchronization, integrating emotion, focus, and insight into a unified field of awareness. These are not random rhythms. They are forms of communication. Your brain is constantly tuning and retuning itself, adjusting its frequency to match the environment and the internal state of your emotions. Every moment of attention changes the frequency pattern slightly, creating a dialogue between your inner and outer worlds. You are both the signal and the receiver at the same time. When you feel inspired, your brain lights up in coherent gamma waves. When you feel safe and relaxed, alpha waves dominate. And when fear or confusion takes over, coherence breaks and the signal becomes noise. Your perception of life follows the same law as physics. Coherent systems organize, incoherent ones decay. So, tuning the brain is not about control, it is about alignment. Meditation, focus, and gratitude are not just mental practices, they are frequency adjustments. They turn your mind from static into signal, allowing consciousness to flow freely through the antenna of your brain. That is how awareness begins to broadcast clearly through you.
Every signal your brain receives is not limited to what the eyes can see or the ears can hear. There is a subtler form of data constantly flowing through the space around you, an ocean of frequencies moving through the electromagnetic spectrum. Your brain, being an electrical organ, is naturally designed to interact with that ocean. It does not just process sensory input, it also resonates with information that exists beyond the five senses. Researchers have long observed that the brain can pick up faint electromagnetic and geomagnetic signals. This sensitivity allows navigation in animals and may explain intuition or instinct in humans. The same neural structures that detect light and sound can also respond to extremely subtle energetic changes. Your body is a biological receiver tuned to a universal broadcast. This is why insights, ideas, and intuition often appear suddenly, without logical cause. The mind is not generating them, it is translating information that already exists in the field. When your brain waves reach coherence, that signal becomes clearer, like turning a dial until static fades into sound. Awareness is not local, it is the connection between your internal circuitry and the universal field of consciousness. Even the Earth itself emits a steady frequency, around 7.83 Hz, known as the Schumann Resonance. When your brain waves synchronize with it, you feel grounded, calm, and aligned. This natural resonance may be the bridge between the planet's electromagnetic rhythm and human consciousness. It is the heartbeat of the Earth, and your brain listens to it. So, intuition is not supernatural. It is simply your brain tuning into deeper layers of reality. Every inspired thought, every sudden knowing, may be evidence of that connection. The antenna of your mind is always active, waiting for you to quiet the noise long enough to receive the signal. Silence is not empty. It is full of information waiting to be heard. If the brain is the antenna, then emotion is the frequency dial. Your thoughts generate the electrical signal, but emotion gives it strength, direction, and tone. A clear mind with chaotic emotion produces a distorted broadcast. But when thought and feeling move together, the signal becomes pure, coherent, and strong enough to resonate with the field of consciousness. Science has shown that emotions change the electromagnetic pattern of both the heart and brain. When you feel gratitude, love, or calm, the heart produces smooth, rhythmic waves that synchronize with the brain. This coherence creates an open communication channel between your inner state and the outer environment. The stronger the emotional alignment, the clearer the signal your brain can send and receive. In contrast, emotions like fear, anger, and anxiety generate chaotic patterns. They break coherence, scatter attention, and fill the mental field with static. That noise makes it harder for the brain to access intuition or higher states of awareness. The signal does not disappear, it simply becomes drowned out by interference. You can feel the difference instantly. Moments of love, awe, or deep peace seem to expand perception, colors appear richer, time feels slower, and your awareness deepens. That experience is not illusion. It is the brain entering resonance with the field itself. Emotion becomes a carrier wave, lifting consciousness into harmony with the frequency of awareness. So learning to master emotion is not about suppressing feelings, it is about refining the signal. Every time you choose calm over reaction, compassion over resistance, you are tuning the antenna of your mind. Your emotions are not obstacles to awareness. They are the language it speaks through. And when you learn that language, consciousness begins to speak back. Tuning your brain into the field of consciousness begins with awareness. 
Before you can receive clear information, you must first quiet the internal noise. The mind constantly broadcasts random thoughts, emotions, and memories that blur the signal of awareness. Through focus and presence, you begin to stabilize the frequency of your attention. Meditation is not a mystical act. It is the science of signal clarity. When you focus on your breath or heartbeat, your brainwaves begin to slow, shifting into alpha and theta frequencies. These states create coherence between your heart and mind, forming the biological condition for higher awareness to emerge. Stillness is not emptiness. It is calibration. Visualization is another powerful way to train the brain's antenna. When you imagine vividly, your neural circuits activate as if the experience were real. This mental rehearsal programs your electromagnetic field with intention, aligning thought, emotion, and frequency into a single broadcast. The more coherent your inner image, the stronger the signal you send into the field. Sound and frequency can also enhance tuning. Brainwave entrainment through binaural beats or natural frequencies like 7.83 Hz helps synchronize your nervous system with Earth's electromagnetic rhythm. This synchronization brings clarity, grounding, and stability, allowing your brain to receive more subtle data from the field. It is a return to resonance with the natural flow of consciousness. The more often you practice coherence, the easier it becomes to stay connected. Awareness stops being something you visit and becomes the space you live in. Your thoughts quiet, your emotions balance, and your perception expands naturally. You stop trying to reach the signal because you realize you are part of it. Your brain is not an isolated organ. It is part of a vast network of consciousness that connects every living being. Each thought, emotion, and signal you emit contributes to the collective electromagnetic field of humanity. This shared field is constantly changing, influenced by billions of individual minds transmitting and receiving information. Every mind is a node, and together, they create the mental atmosphere of the planet. Scientific studies have found that large-scale emotional events can influence measurable changes in global electromagnetic patterns. During moments of worldwide focus, such as natural disasters or shared meditation, synchronized fluctuations have been recorded in the Earth's field. It suggests that human consciousness is not confined within the skull, but interacts with the environment on a planetary scale. Your brain may literally tune in to this collective broadcast. When groups of people share similar emotions or intentions, their brain waves begin to synchronize. This coherence amplifies the collective signal, creating fields of stability that can be felt across distance. It is the same principle as resonance in physics, where multiple oscillators align into a unified rhythm. Consciousness behaves like a field, not an individual phenomenon. That is why the energy of a place can be felt without words. When many people carry fear, tension fills the air. When people gather with intention, peace and clarity emerge naturally. The field of consciousness mirrors the dominant vibration of the collective mind. Each time you find coherence within yourself, you contribute to that harmony on a larger scale. The clearer your signal, the more you strengthen the global frequency of awareness. You are not just a receiver, you are a transmitter within a living network of consciousness. And the frequency you emit helps shape the field we all share. Every human mind is both a receiver and a sender of consciousness. Thought is the signal, emotion is the frequency and awareness is the field they travel through. You are not a closed system. You are an open channel in constant dialogue with existence. Reality does not begin at your senses. It begins at your state of awareness. 
When your thoughts are scattered, the signal weakens. When your emotions conflict, the signal distorts. But when your heart and mind align, the broadcast becomes clear and you begin to experience synchronicity, intuition, and flow. You start to realize that consciousness is not something inside you, it is something moving through you. This realization changes everything. The way you think changes how reality organizes around you. Every moment of awareness becomes an act of connection. Every breath becomes a transmission. You are both observing and shaping the field at the same time. The brain, once seen as a biological organ, reveals itself as an instrument of communication. It translates infinite possibility into personal experience, turning energy into perception and perception back into energy. The clearer your signal, the more directly you experience reality as it truly is, alive, intelligent, and interconnected. Awareness is not a mystery to solve, it is a frequency to remember. So take a moment to listen. Beneath the noise of the mind, there is a quiet rhythm always broadcasting. It is the signal of consciousness waiting for you to tune in. And once you do, you realize you were never disconnected at all.